Okay, let's do this mechanism that you already know, that is dibromination of cyclohexene. Why are we doing this? Because we're going to compare it to the, um, to the quote unquote bromination of benzene that doesn't happen. But anyways, just to recall, since you, didn't, you haven't seen this reaction in a while, let's do the mechanism of it. So, bromine, Looks like that, right? So what's going to happen is once this gets close to this um, pi bond, uh, what you're going to have is a dipole form, an induced dipole, right? So that's going to make this bromine partially positive, this one partially negative because of the negative charge here. So what's going to happen, of course, is this bromine here is going to become electrophilic, as you already know. So once that becomes electrophilic, it's got all those you know, it's a huge atom, so it's got all those empty orbitals, you know. So what, what's going to happen is once that becomes electrophilic, it's going to attack like that. And then um, that's going to break that bond there and also form that bond there. Do that. Um, I could draw either one of the two uh, enantiomers. I'll draw the, um, I don't know, just for fun, we'll draw the one that goes back. The positively charged bromine or a bromonium ion. And because we have no charge over here, we're going to have to have no charge over here, right? You guys know that from Gen Cam. Br minus. And then what's that going to do? Billy's favorite reaction, the SN2 reaction. Backside attack, right? Okay, so when that happens, we're going to get the dibromide like that. Plus it's an antimer, of course this bromine could have attacked from the other way, right? And once we do and when we do that. So the product is actually the mixture. Okay? So when we react cyclohexene with bromine, it reacts. That's the whole point, right? And if we compare that to the reaction of benzene, right? This is cyclohexene, right? If this was cyclohexatriene, right, we would expect to be, you know, one, two bromines there, one, two bromines there, one, two bromines there. So hexabrominate, right? But what happens when we react this with Br2? No reaction. Why? Because it's super stable, okay? And that's what we're going to get into now, okay? So. Aromaticity brings over, overly stable structures, okay? Gives overly stable structures. All right, any questions on that? I know we haven't gone into very much. At least the mechanism of the cyclohexene rumination. 